there's parallel relay race. What's, what's the challenge for academic institutions to, to implement this? What are the obstacles that they face to really make that happen? Well, I think one of the big obstacles is the culture. Um, building a construct like that where you bring in industry like professionals and recognize them and protect them from the, the typical uh, expectation of academic scientists. Uh, that's important. If they are being evaluated at the end of the year for number of publication and number of grant they bring in, they can't possibly focus on de delivering on the milestone. So we have to change that construct are, and recognize that they're not second class citizens. Are there any examples of this taking place, of this happening now? Well, we certainly have built this uh, at MD Anderson, and we started that process uh, when I was at Dana-Farber at Harvard, where we built uh, an institute where we brought in industry seasoned professionals and, and put them to uh, a, a tackle some of these key challenges, both on the biology side and on the chemistry side. Uh, that's really focusing on enabling drug discovery rather than I discovering the next novel right. insight that would make it into a cell science and nature paper. Well, Linda, thank you for the great work. We appreciate it. Thank you.